Hi everyone, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Networking Plus. Today you are going to learn what is broadcast domain and what is collision domain. With that I am also going to explain you what are the differences between them with few examples. So make sure watch this video till the end. But before continue to this tutorial, I will highly recommend you to one, watch my one of the previous video where I have explained you how networking device such as hub, switch and router works in a network. Because once you understand this concept, it is going to be very easy for you to understand the concept of collision domain and broadcast domain. Now let's continue to this tutorial. What is broadcast domain? Broadcast domain consists of all the devices that can receive a broadcast message sent by any devices connected to a single network segment. This is the definition of broadcast domain or else it is very simple to identify the broadcast domain. Just you have to identify, see broadcast domain are the number of available networks. So just you have to identify how many number of networks available in the diagram. So all of the network count as a one broadcast domain. Clear? For example, here you can see we have one network in this network a PC number one is sending any message what hub is going to do hub is going to broadcast this message to all the devices connected to it am I right hub broadcast data all the time so all the devices are able to receive the broadcast message correct so all the devices you are able to see here fall under a one broadcast domain Hence, it is also a single network, right? So single network means single broadcast domain. Simple. Now let's take another example. In this example, we have two hub and one switch, right? Even switch broadcast data for the first time. I am telling you, if you have not yet watched my switch video, how hub switch and router works, please watch this video. Then only you will understand how switch broadcast the data, right? So as of now, just you understand switch always broadcast the data for the first time. Okay. For example, this is a new switch. So here if PC number one is sending data, what switch is going to do? This switch is going to broadcast this data to all the devices connected to it. Correct. So it is also going to broadcast to this link. So this data is also going to reach to the hub and hub is going to broadcast this data to all the devices connected to each other correct even here it is going to broadcast the data to all the devices so all the devices you are able to see here are able to receive the broadcast message sent by this pc number one so hence all of these devices you are able to see here fall under a single broadcast domain right and same like this see this is a single network right all the devices connected to each other definitely able to communicate with each other this is a single network so it is a single broadcast domain now for example uh, let's put one router here right what router do router divides the network right for example this hub is connected to router and this switch is connected to this router now what is happening here see how many networks do we have this is one network right and this is another network now tell me how many broadcast domain do we have here see whatever data this pc number one is sending it is only going to deliver to this four pc right so this is a one broadcast domain this data is not going to broadcast to the router router is not going to broadcast this data right so this data will stick till between this four pc so it is one broadcast domain and whatever data this pc is sending are going to stay in this particular one network so this is count as a another broadcast domain so we have two network means here we have two broadcast domain i hope the concept of broadcast domain is clear right now let's go forward and understand what is collision domain even collision domain is also very easy concept see first of all let's look at the definition a collision domain is a network segment with two or more devices sharing the same bandwidth where there is a chance of collision. 
what it is telling is for example the device such as hub right hub is a dumb device and all the devices are sharing a common bandwidth here each port does not have any dedicated bandwidth one per hub is having some bandwidth and all the devices connected to it are sharing the same bandwidth here what is the major problem is only one device can send data for example if pc number one is sending the data this hub is going to broadcast this data to all the devices connected to it and hub broadcasts every time okay hub always broadcasts the data because of this region in this network only one device can send data at the same time if two device trying to send the data what is going to happen for example pc number one has sent the data it has broadcast to all the devices in the same time pc number two is also sending data it is also going to broadcast to all the devices so what is happening here traffic jam is occurring right so network collision is happening because of that reason hub is going to reject that particular data and it is not going to forward to the next devices so in a hub only one device can send data because of this reason this all the devices connected to hub count as a one collision domain very simple formula i am telling you how to identify a number of collision domain in a network just read this line in a network all the links that can send data at the same time okay are count as a separate collision domain what i am telling you see in hub only one device can send data at a time so all the devices connected to this link right are count as a single collision domain one collision domain same thing if you look at this switch right in switch is not a broadcast device definitely for the first time switch broadcast the data but from next time it's only going to send the data to the device you are sending the data for example pc number one is sending the data to pc number two it is possible correct if in the same time pc number three is trying to send the data to pc number four is it possible definitely is it possible if pc number four is trying to send the data to pc number one at the same time is it possible definitely it is possible so tell me how many links can send data at the same time in this network one two three and four four link can send and receive data at the same time so how many collision domain do we have here all total we have here four collision domain just you have to count the number of link that can send and receive data at the same time and you will very easily find the collision domain is it clear let me show you one more example See here we have two switches connected to each other and both the switch have four four computers. Now let's count the collision domain. See how many link can send and receive data at the same time. See this is the link number one can send the data. This PC also can send the data. Link number three, link number four, all of them can send and receive data at the same time. Same like this, even here all the computer you are able to see here can able to send and receive data at the same time. Even the switch also can send and receive data at the same time, right? These two switch also uh, able to send and receive data at the same time. Now tell me how many links do we have here that can send and receive data at the same time? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So all total we have here 9 collision domain. Same thing if you look at the hub, right? Hub is a broadcast device. So hence there is two hub but even though only one device can send data at the same time for example if this hub is broadcasting data right to all the devices this hub cannot broadcast the data at the same time if it also broadcast means what is happening data is coming from this side data is coming from this side network collision is going to occur because hub is a broadcast device correct so here only one device can send data hence we have nine link are you able to see even this network we have nine different links but how many device can send data at a single time how many link can send a data at the same time only one link only one device can send data at this network so here we have only one collision domain clear 
this is a very easy concept guys very easy to understand if you still you are getting confused i will recommend you watch this video two three times definitely you will easily able to understand now let's go forward and let me show you a few more example uh, where you can see this is the symbol of hub okay here we have only one arrow this is the symbol of hub so it is telling you in this hub four computers are connected to each other and you have identified the number of collision domain and broadcast domain tell me guys how many collision domain do we have here see hence this is hub means only one link can send the data if one link is sending means other links are going to wait correct so here only one link can send data at the time so here we have only one collision domain now step number two how many number of broadcast domain do we have hence it is a one network right here only we have one network and if pc number one is sending means all the data are going to broadcast to all the devices correct so it is a one broadcast domain one network is equal to one broadcast domain here we have one collision domain and one broadcast domain clear okay in example number two here we have one hub here we have one switch clear hub is connect how many link uh, uh, hub has one two and three but in hub only one link can send and receive data right so tell me how many collision domain do we have in this section from here to here how many collision domain do we have we have only one collision domain because whatever devices whatever link you are able to see here only one link can send and receive data at a time so here we have only one collision domain okay switch how many switch uh, devices are connected to switch we have one two and three right so all of these three devices can send and receive data at the same time right so link number one two and three here we have three collision domain here we have one collision domain so all total in this section we have four collision domain correct now how many broadcast domain do we have here see whatever data this pc1 is sending this data is going to broadcast to all the devices connected to it as well as it is also going to reach to the hub hub is also going to broadcast this to another this to pc so all the devices you are able to see here falls under one particular network single network so here how many broadcast domain do we have all total here we have one broadcast domain clear now let's look at the last example in this example we have one router and as we know that router divides a network correct or you can see router connects multiple different network so here you can see this is one network correct this is one network and this is one network so how many network do we have here all total we have three different networks so tell me how many broadcast domain is available three different network means we have here three broadcast domain how many collision domain do we have in this network only one device can send data at a time means only one link can send data at a time so here we have one collision domain in the second network also only one device can send data at a time so here we have one more collision domain and in the third network also only one device can send data at a time so here we have another one collision domain so all total we have one two and three all total we have three collision domain clear so in this network we have three broadcast domain and three collision domain so guys i hope you have enjoyed watching this video then make sure hit the like button and if you want to join my complete ccna course then make sure check the link given in the description section below if you are new to this channel consider subscribing it right now and also hit the bell icon see you soon on my next video thanks for watching